Hello everyone. Welcome to Intuitive Gems. My name is Desiree. And today I'm doing a different video. I'm actually going to be sharing a brand new tarot deck I got to review. Now I have shared uh, tarot decks on this channel for years. I don't do, you know, do tarot deck uh, unboxings all that often. But every now and again, um, I will get a deck sent to me. And I am more than happy to share whatever it is with all of you. So this one is the Guiding Light Tarot. Now this is a brand new deck. As far as I know, uh, it is new to me. And this is really pretty. Uh, the box kind of has like a little holographic iridescent. It is still sealed, so I will break that open. But I wanted to share share the box with you, the Guiding Light Tarot. So. Uh, looks like it's got some interesting artwork here. Hmm. Okay. Let me go ahead and pause the video because I want to cut this open without struggling with it. And I will be right back. Okay. We are back. Uh, again, this is the Guiding Light Tarot. It says Premium Color Edition. And it's got the magnetic box closure. Oh, wow. Okay. So you have a guidebook. This is usually pretty standard with any tarot deck you buy nowadays. And this is what the box looks like. Wow. I'm very impressed. Now I learned to read cards using the, um, Rider Waite Tarot, Rider Waite Smith Tarot. Like that is the style um, of cards that I pretty much have used my entire tarot reading career life. But, um, so sometimes when I get decks that are not Rider weight based, it takes me a while to kind of figure out the symbolism, the messages, and kind of what the intuitive, you know, intent, I guess, intentions are, uh, with the deck and with each specific card. So, you know, this is probably not a deck that I will start using right away. Usually it takes me a while to learn a deck, but I'm very impressed with the artwork on here. So let me get myself situated so I can get these in focus and we can take a look at each of the cards. So this is the Fool. And you can see that it does have the card name there towards the bottom. And these cards are absolutely beautiful. Now the card stock is pretty thick and you can see it does have the gilding along the edge. And it also has that um, same kind of holographic design. High Priestess, Empress. Wow, now this card, I'm already getting like a very dark energy and I don't mean that in a negative way. But it will take, um, it will take, like I said, it will take me a while to kind of learn these cards. Very, very interesting. This is the Hanged Man. And I apologize if I'm picking up, you know, any glare or anything like that. Uh, I am filming in natural lighting, so hopefully that helps you being able to see the details on the cards. I think if I hold them at an angle, you'll be able to see them better. Oh, this one's really pretty. That's the star, the moon, the sun. Now some of these look like actual photographs and then others look like uh, illustrations. So right away I can tell that there's a very um, muted color scheme, which I think is kind of nice because then, you know, you're not too distracted by a lot of, um, you know, bright colors or bold patterns. So 
So we're through the suit of cups. And some of these are sticking together. Now that's the other thing about a brand new tarot deck is that, you know, sometimes the cards are a little slippery when they're brand new, you know, until they're, you know, broken in. Now we're at the Pentacles. This is another powerful, powerful, um, I'm really feeling a powerful energy just looking at these. Maybe because the Pentacles is one of my favorite suits because focused on all the things we love money wealth finance oops prosperity abundance that's interesting this is the page of Pentacles but I see so many different things represented here Oh yeah, it would definitely take me a while to learn this deck. But I'm already very impressed. I'm very impressed with the quality. Very nice cardstock. You know, it's thick so it's not flimsy, but it's not too thick to where it's hard to shuffle. That was two cards there. So if you are looking to buy a new tarot deck, I always tell people, go to like an actual store where you can kind of look at the, you know, look at the, the box that the cards come in and you can kind of get a feeling of what kind of calls out to you and what you're drawn to. You know, and then, of course, once you know what deck you want, you can kind of search, you know, on Amazon or wherever for the best price. But I always tell people to shop in person whenever possible. Because then uh, you will get an idea of, you know, what type of impressions you get with the deck, how it makes you feel, what you're drawn to. Okay, and this is the deck creator, Victoria Ivanova. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. She's a Capricorn, and here is a little bit about her background here. She says her passion is using her art to explore polarities between darkness and light, gothic styles, esotericism, yoga, and diverse spiritual practices are important to me. I hope you enjoy my work in this deck. Very powerful. Oh, and that was the other thing. I don't know if I showed you guys the backs of the cards. But this is what it looks like here. They're white, and then it has that same silver uh, holographic star design or symbol. So uh, that is our first look at the Guiding Light, oops, Guiding Light Tarot. Uh, this is a new deck, so they are quite slippery, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will have a link to this deck down below if you're interested. And if you have any questions uh, about this deck specifically, go ahead and throw them down below. I'll do my best to answer, but of course, you know, like I said, I don't know a lot about it. So it's going to take me a while to learn these cards before I can start working with them, you know, intuitively. All right, everyone, thank you so much for spending this time with me. Uh, I will check in with you all again very soon.